At the AUSA 2024 exhibition, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, a leading Israeli defense company, showcased the latest iteration of its Iron Beam High Energy Laser Weapon System, HELWS. Mounted on a Tatra T815-78x8 truck chassis, this new 100 kilowatts version of the Iron Beam is set to become operational by the end of 2025, marking a significant milestone in Israel's air defense capabilities. The Iron Beam system is designed to counter a variety of aerial threats, including drones, rockets, and mortars, providing a highly cost-effective alternative to conventional missile-based systems. With an estimated interception cost of up to $1,000 per use, the Iron Beam dramatically reduces the expense compared to traditional missile systems like the Iron Dome, whose Tamir missiles can cost between $40,000 and $50,000 per interception. This cost efficiency, combined with the system's virtually unlimited firing capacity, makes the Iron Beam a vital component of Israel's air defense strategy. Rafael is currently developing several versions of the Iron Beam system. Alongside the 100 kW model introduced at AUSA 2024, there is the Iron Beam Mobile, Iron Beam M, a 50 kW truck-mounted variant expected to complete its development by late 2025. Additionally, a lighter 10 kW version called the Light Beam is being designed for infantry vehicles, with an operational goal set within two years. Yov Turgeman, CEO of Rafael, confirmed that the Iron Beam would be deployed by the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, in 2025. One of the system's key advantages is its integration with the Iron Dome, allowing seamless coordination between laser-based defenses and missile interceptors. This dual-layer approach enhances Israel's capability to deal with short- and medium-range threats, providing a comprehensive shield for the country. The Iron Beam system has demonstrated its effectiveness in tests, including those conducted by the IDF in 2022. During these trials, the system successfully intercepted various aerial threats, such as drones, rockets, and mortar bombs, within its 7-kilometer effective range. The speed at which the laser can neutralize targets, destroying them within seconds, adds another layer of protection to Israel's air defense network. One of the most significant benefits of the Iron Beam system is its ability to reduce collateral damage. Unlike traditional missile interceptors that produce debris when engaging threats, the Iron Beam uses concentrated laser energy to destroy targets without leaving harmful fragments. This characteristic is especially important in urban combat scenarios, where minimizing damage to civilian areas is critical. Additionally, the Iron Beam's unlimited firing capability ensures that it remains operational for extended periods without the need for reloading, a key advantage in prolonged engagements or situations with high volumes of incoming threats. The Iron Beam system's potential extends beyond Israel. Rafael is actively promoting mobile variants of the system for NATO forces and other allied militaries, offering adaptable and mobile air defense solutions. The Iron Beam mobile and light beam systems, for instance, are designed for flexibility, enabling rapid deployment with ground forces to protect them during fast-paced operations. Rafael has highlighted the compatibility of these systems with platforms such as the U.S. Joint Light Tactical Vehicles, JLTV, and the Boxer Infantry Fighting Vehicle, broadening their appeal in coalition environments. Moreover, Rafael's partnership with Lockheed Martin aims to push the Iron Beam's capabilities even further. Future iterations of the system could reach power levels of up to 300 kilowatts, utilizing multiple beams to engage several targets simultaneously, making it an even more potent tool for modern air defense. While the Iron Beam represents a significant technological leap, it is not without limitations. The effectiveness of high-energy lasers can be influenced by environmental factors, such as rain or clouds, which may reduce the system's ability to strike targets accurately. Furthermore, the system must maintain focus on a moving target for several seconds to destroy it, posing challenges in situations involving multiple simultaneous threats, like large-scale rocket barges. In response to these challenges, Rafael is continuing to refine the system. For example, Future developments are aimed at increasing the system's power and enhancing its ability to engage multiple threats at once. The collaboration with Lockheed Martin is central to these advancements, with research focused on improving both the power output and targeting precision of the laser system. The Iron Beam's deployment, expected by late 2025, will mark the beginning of a new era in air defense for Israel. Its cost-effective operation, integration with existing systems like the Iron Dome, and continued development toward even more powerful versions make it a formidable tool in modern warfare. As Rafael continues to refine and enhance the system, 
The Iron Beam is poised to play a critical role not only in Israel's defense strategy but also in the global market for advanced defense technology.